Hello and welcome to another video of Eternal Gains. This is the channel where I show you how to grow your stack in the most sustainable and most efficient way. Today we talk about Matrix, uh, Matrix Farm to be exact. Uh, Matrix Farm is another auto compounder on um, Phantom Chain. And why I show you this protocol today? Simply two reasons. Number one, the Matrix uh, protocol right now is paying better than Reaper Farm. Okay, if you come over here and compare the numbers, for example, the yield daily is 0.41%, okay? And here daily 0.42%, okay? Yearly, it comes out to 366%. And here we are right now at 349%, okay? Um, as I showed you before, it's always important to check out their docs and have a quick look on the fees, right? So we can be sure that the numbers which are displayed here are better than the numbers on Reaper Farm. On Reaper Farm, we know already there's approximately a 4% fee, um, like a performance fee and some other fees. So you, could, you end up with around 4% of fees. Let's have a look here. Okay. Okay, bounty fee. Yeah, so we come, actually it's a bit higher. It's a 4.5% uh, fee. Let's have a look on Reaper Farm real quick. What are the fees here? And by the way, what you see right now, what I'm doing is this is how you should also, um, you know, do your own research and check on the docs and compare the numbers in details. Because if you only take the numbers what they advertise, obviously um, they will always show you the best numbers, but you have to be sure to fully understand what's going on. So as we can see right now, it's the exact same fee structure on both protocols. The 0.1 security fee, 0.1 security fee, 405 performance fee, uh, 405 performance fee, and then this for the 0.45 bounty fee, and they call it gas fee, but it's pretty much the same. So the fee structure is exactly the same on both protocols, but right now, uh, Matrix is actually outperforming uh, Reaper Farm in terms of returns, in terms of yield, okay? Um, now, there's one other point why it might be a good idea to um, spread Actually, there are two points why it might be a good idea to spread your LP positions over different protocols. Now, the first one is I was talking about Grim Finance not too long ago, how they got hacked, right? So Grim Finance got hacked and a hacker was uh, managed to steal the LP positions, the LP tokens, and they mainly stole the FDM TOMP LP tokens, okay? Now, I made another video on Grim already. If you haven't seen it, just check out my channel. Search for Grim Hacked or Good News for Grim Hack for Grim Hack or something like that. It's pretty informative. You get some more background on the hack and especially what they are planning to do right now. Now, back to the topic. Um, so one very important thing is to spread your uh, position, okay? It's definitely a good idea to for example, put one third into Reaper Farm, another third into Matrix, and then a third third into Yield World, for example. I also made a video on this. Uh, before, it's called, is it time to make a move? All right, so, I mean, the benefit is obvious. First of all, this one pays right now a little bit a higher yield. Um, the yield on Reaper Farm came down quite a bit. We were, we were looking over a thousand percent, I think, uh, around three weeks ago. So it came down significantly. And this is also why it's important to jump early into those pools, because as more people participate, usually as lower this uh, APY gets. Um, and of course, it's a good idea because if you spread your position amongst different protocols, then even if there's an issue with one of them, you will not lose everything. You still have. Uh, you know, you still keep some of your LP position. So that's also what I personally do. Right now, I'm in Matrix, I'm in Reaper Farm, and I'm in Yield Wolf. And um, 
As you can see here in Matrix, I just have a tiny amount right now, to be exact, $2.73. Why? Because at the time when I jumped into this protocol, the, uh, the rewards, the yields were much, much lower than the other two protocols. Also, the third advantage is why I want to show you Matrix today is because they don't have a token yet. Okay, what does this mean? This means that there is definitely a possibility that they're going to do an airdrop at one point, at some point in the future, okay? Which means they're going to introduce their own tokens, probably a governance token, and then I'm pretty sure they will also do a staking pool for their own token. token. So the chance that Matrix is releasing their own token is pretty high, and if this happens, then obviously I want to have I've put in the door, I want to be basically an active user of this uh, protocol, of this platform, to receive a potential airdrop, okay? Um, that's why it's such a small amount only, just basically to be hopefully el uh, el eligible for the airdrop. Um, but right now, with this juicy yields, I might consider to shift a little bit more of my uh, LP position over here. Uh, as I said, mostly for security reasons. Um, so right now, we are looking at a 366% yield on Matrix, and we're looking at a 349% yield on Reaper Farm. Of course, those numbers can change pretty quickly, so it's always important to have an eye on them, to keep an eye on the different protocols. I will do this for you, of course, so if you don't want to miss out on that, just hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and stay in the loop. Okay, guys, I hope that helped. Uh, smash the like button, leave me a comment, and I see you in the next one.